Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to another week of IndyCar Oval Series. It's it's actually been a couple weeks since we visited this series, but uh, <laughs> this week we're at Phoenix, which is uh, actually quite a challenging racetrack. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I um I'm I'm very hesitant to actually start qualifying um or not uh Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and qualify then. Um, I honestly, like, I thought about giving myself a black flag, but might as well go ahead and see green what we're actually qualifying. Okay, here comes your third time black. Kind of have a little bit of a bad feeling, but at the same time, I, I'm not really that confident uh, that we're going to qualify all that well. One more lap. I definitely know I could go a little bit faster because um, didn't mean to go off track there. Whoops. Well, with that, we qualified last in in the qualifiers, which I'm totally fine with. Even if we didn't qualify. We would honestly only be back down in like 12th, so it's a uh, it's One not really go. that Next big of a by. difference. Line up on the outside. Uh, Pit road is closed right now. Also, sorry about the um, possible audio levels. Um, I noticed that it was been too way too loud um, in my in my other Fallout videos, and it's honestly looking back at some of the racing videos, it's been kind of a it's been kind of in balance, so I'm gonna try to work on that. Still waiting on two cars to grid. This is a uh, very, very tricky racetrack, and uh, I just want to survive for the most part, because everyone seems to um, want to be, I don't know, wants to just go on ahead, just be aggressive, at least during practice and everything. And I don't know if that's just because, you know, they wanted to see how fast they can go or whatnot, but yeah. It's Waiting on the final car to grid. It's been kind of, um, it's been kind of a crazy there practice are two session. additional sets of tires for this race. It's smooth or practice and leading up to this race and, and whatnot. It's one of the main reasons why I kind of actually wanted to uh, qualify here in the back anyways now we are, are pretty late in the day I hope uh, I hope we're gonna be able to finish this race before sundown because we are running on the legacy. And, uh, About to go green, stay focused. And I do believe there's actually no lights on the legacy configuration. I could be wrong, but I remember the in a league in. In, one, in a league race one time. Green flag, green flag. We ran into that problem.
watch the cars up ahead. Because that's probably where the Rex is going to happen. Oh, it's one of those situations, I see. Pit road's open. Catch the pace car. Yeah, the whole entire field is gonna stop because of the pace car. I don't want to get a black flag. Oh. <laughs> or do that. The wreck must have happened behind us. Because I didn't see anything happen in front of us. Now, there's no way we're going to be able to make it on fuel. Um, even if there's, like, the tons of cautions. We, we are going to need to come down to pit road at some point. Um, but I mean, even this early on in the race, um, uh, we, are, we would need to stop again. And remember, with this series, restarts are in single file line. Even if you're a lap down car, there's no uh, lapped cars on the inside line. I mean, I guess if there is enough About cautions flags green. in a Stay row, focused. I guess we could get to that point, possibly, of saving enough fuel, but I honestly don't see that happening. Because we would have to constantly be running in in. under caution for most of the race. Green flag, green flag. job on the car with avoiding me because I uh, I kind of was a little bit squirrely there. New bus left for you. Right 
Is it a good time to pit? I don't know. I honestly don't really think so. Because there's, you know, we only, we have only done about 13 laps, and there's still around 80 laps to go. I think even with a full tank, you, you can only do around 65. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to even think about coming in for fuel or a pit stop to around lap 60, or w until there's like 60 to go. Which would probably put us pitting around lap 30 or so. And also, I think the rate jacker was a bad idea to crank, uh, to crank up that early. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Alright, I must have been the lead to start. I just didn't want to run into the back of anyone. Car's really pushing. Like I, I don't know if I need to lift off more or whatnot going into the corner, or lift off sooner. It just at least in the early ones, uh, runs, I don't really get T1 all that much. Outside. Clear up top. <laughs> I just took evasive action because I felt like there was going to be a wreck there. Oh, there might be a wreck right here. Alright, I... 
Pass the pace car. Get stuff. Nine. Car. I'm pretty sure I'm going to pit. Get stuff. Nine. It's going to be car. tight on fuel. Yeah, it's going to be tight on fuel. Get stuff. Nine. Car. Boxing ten. Okay, Five, I see. I see my pit box now. Three, two, one. Right here. Move it. Move it. Be mindful. You only have one set of tires remaining. They want you in single file. See, that says 68. We're pretty much bang on fuel, but as you know, that's not exactly going to be enough once we actually go green, so... I think the strategy now is to run on a on a different map for a little while in, in, to ensure we have fuel. It does look like a top 10 is secure because 9th and 10th place are at least a lap down. One lap to green. So... Let's not make anything too rash or make, you know, any rash moves or decisions or anything like that. If the, um, if the lap cars want to get by us, they can get by us. Go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. The leader is running. Three point four seven six. going on up here. Jesus. 
this. Inside, the leader is running 19.954. Clear inside. I can tell they're wanting to get around me. You're losing on the car in front. The gap is 2.3 seconds. Flat for you. Car inside. Clear. Go low. The leader just did us 20.266. Outside is clear. Sudden. Go low. Clear high. Okay, he's being very dangerous. Outside. He's gonna let the leader pie because Clear I'm having a feeling car the, the set or the position outside seven car is gonna wreck the leaders. Can I 
actually go the other way? trying to save fuel and waiting for a caution because I mean if there's a caution that's out I'm not going to pit while the rest of the field's probably going to pit I mean I want my lap back I am hoping for a yet, like a yet late race caution here soon. The car in front, pity. And also, I'm looking uh, for cars that are going to pit. Because I mean, if I run like this, because yeah, if I keep on running like this, I can definitely make it to the end of fuel to the end of the race on fuel. Also, we're a lap down, so I'm not saying that will always be the case, but we currently don't have to do one more lap than we normally have to. Maybe if we get lucky, we can actually have a top five.
you have 30 to go. The leader consider 20.543. the leader. Pretty sure some of these guys behind me are gonna be freshies. Outside. Holy shit! The car behind is closing on you. The gap is three point two seconds. I had to move so out of the way for that. The 
car behind is closing on you. The gap is 8.1 seconds. Once I hit 10 to go, I can then up the fuel, the fuel boostage. I'm, I'm on the lead lap right now, so I, I currently have 11 to go. Ten to go, this time by. Oh shit, I was upping the weight jacker. Whoops. Well, I guess that was helping as well. Catch this person in front, oh well. They're gonna keep on trying though. See if they make a mistake towards the end of the race. Watch 
flag. That means one more lap to go. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap is 1.3 seconds. Go high. Well, wait, what? You're gaining on the car in front. The gap Did two people run out of fuel? Seconds. Yes! There's the flag. It's over. <laughs> Both of those people must have ran out of fuel. We got a third place from that because of our fuel saving. Oh, me. Was that an exciting end to that race? Okay, the rest oh. is over. Bring it on in. Pit box in. Ten. Don't get me wrong. I, I could have actually made that Five, a lot tighter. But, I mean, three, I, two, I didn't have the pace one. to more than likely win. Right I, I, thought, I don't know. I could have possibly win it if I won it. If I, I don't know, made the uh, fuel a little bit tighter. Who knows? But I am happy with that. I got a third place. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's actually take a look at uh Can we actually see in their cockpit and see if they actually ran out of fuel? No. Uh, but oh no, that that definitely sounds like them running out of fuel. And it, who else was it that ran out of fuel? Someone else did as well on the last lap there. Oh, okay. It was a person that... Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Never mind. That was after uh, the race. Uh, I can't really figure out it out at, at this moment. Let's look at the uh, uh, wrecks real quick, or the bumps. Ooh, bump into the wall. He might have actually picked up some wheel damage, some steering damage there. Hold on. What exactly happened there? Oh, okay, he, they, they just went too low. Feel bad for that. For you. Hold on. Uh. Did I? I saw a piece of front wing. <laughs> oh my God! Net code. <laughs> Netcode strikes again, because I was like, I saw a piece of wing fly off, and it wasn't even close to the car. Oh my god, Netcode totally screwed. Oh, no, <laughs> never mind. Apparently, the wing we appeared. Hmm. I wonder if he still technically had wing damage on his side, 
or in you know on on his side of the car or not. Ooh, ooh, snap of oversteer. Uh, it looks like he only broke the front wing and possibly a little bit of steering damage, but uh, he, he he could continue. Uh, scrape against the wall. Net code again. Oh, net code on the wall. That is weird. <laughs> oh no, that was that's an actual wall hit. <laughs> hmm. That might have been net code as well. I I think I heard a hit. I'm not really quite sure. That was definitely a, a hit, a wall hit. That wasn't because of net code. This <laughs> the green car got assassinated. <laughs> yeah, the other car just kind of just just came up on their line. To be fair, at the same time, um, I feel like the green car didn't make that much effort to give give them a lot of room as well. <laughs> so. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, the tie-dye car, I'm going to call it, um, definitely went up on their line, but... Oops. Well, I broke the replay. <laughs> uh, let's just look at the results. I do believe that was about it anyways on the, on the Rex. I think the rest of it is just, was going to be wall hits. Let's see, we, we gain 39 points to our safety rating, and we gain 48 to our I rating. Uh, going up and up. Hopefully, we will continue that trend. Um, but yeah, that, that, was a, that was a really good race. We got a podium from that uh, off of fuel strategy. And uh, I'm, actually, I'm really proud of that race. <laughs> avoided all the chaos, avoided all the bullshit, and, uh, and we walked away with a third. So, yeah. Really, really happy with myself with that one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I guess that's going to be the end of that video. So if you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of this content, please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, catch you in the next video.